Hey, what's up everybody? Back with another video for your ass. Today I wanna to talk about tips sighted people can learn from blind people. If this is your first time, and I hope that it isn't, but for those who are viewing me for the first time, make sure to hit that notification bell ding. Make sure to like, share, and by all means, please subscribe. So, <clears throat> Today, I wanna to just mention a few tips that sighted people can learn from blind people. Number one, we, we can definitely show you how to appreciate people from within. And what I mean by that is, we don't have, if you're totally blind, we don't have the option of looking at individuals and saying, well, I don't like that person, I can't stand that person. Um, we have the, the, the ability to, to learn to love someone from within. Learn to love that person for whom she is, whom he is, the things that they do, not for the color of their skin, not for how tall they are, not how thin, how heavy set they are, none of those particular things, which is a great thing. And that creates a long lasting relationship, which also brings uh, me to the second one, which is we can uh, definitely avoid being prejudice because as I mentioned earlier we can't you know uh, see that person skin color we can't determine that person's size we can't determine how how you know how, how thin he or she is we have to learn to learn love each other from within and if individuals somewhat become prejudiced as a blind person it has to be something that you have learned throughout your years someone has taught you uh, you know, prejudice being hand, handed down from one generation to another, because again, how could you see that person? How could you uh, learn to uh, dislike that person for his skin color or, or his features and things like that? So that's a good thing, you know. Number three, uh, we uh, you can learn to uh, actually focus on your surroundings much more uh, than if you could see as a blind person. Uh, we definitely have to uh, be aware of our surroundings. I mean, for me, there's now certain places that I won't even go because, you know, uh, of the bad surroundings. But when I was young, I ain't gonna lie, I did, I did venture off into, um, you know, areas where I probably wouldn't or shouldn't have been. But we have a tendency more so to focus on your surroundings. See, hey, this is a good, this is not a good situation. It's not a good look we got. You know, I, I, I gotta be careful considering the fact that I'm totally blind. Something may jump off that I don't know what to do. So we have a tendency to go and do things. Uh, uh, it's, it's more regulated than as opposed to, man, I'm, I'm just gonna go. If you could see, I'm just gonna go and, and, and forget about, you know, what the surroundings may be. I just have to deal with it when it comes to me. I become more conscious. Number four, um, uh, again, we're talking about tips that blind people, uh, sighted people could uh, use or to, could, could learn from, from, I'm sorry, tips that uh, sighted people can learn from blind people. And the fourth one is uh, we, re we rely on our memory more so. Uh, as a blind person, and sighted people definitely don't do that. They just put things down or do this and that. And just you know, just look at where they are, and they're able to uh, find out where where things are. As a, as a, as opposed to a blind person, we have to rely more so on our memory. Have to get, get a visual picture of where we place things, where we go, what we do, and all that becomes a mental um, picture in our head. Uh, for me, it's more so of a map. Like if I were to go to someone's house and they show me how to get around, I create a mental picture in my mind as to where the steps are, where the bathroom is, where the outside is, where the, you know, those particular things. So that being blind, uh, and, and the, here, what I'm talking about helps, uh, by bringing out these tips, helps you uh, sighted people understand and utilize your abilities more so. And this brings us to the fifth one, which is relying more so on our senses. Now, let me get you straight. Our senses uh, you know, be, are not, uh, we don't, uh, they're not that, they don't They don't become more heightened, I'm sorry. Uh, it's just that we, we rely on our other senses more so than if uh, we uh, had sight. And um, some sighted people do understand that. I mean, uh, if you are totally blind, you have you have to rely on your hearing more so. You have to rely on your touch more so than you did if you were uh, sighted. You have to rely more so on your smell. 
So those other senses become, you know, you, you tend to use those more so than if you were not uh, uh, totally blind, then those type, of sen those type of senses, hearing, taste, smell, all that, you tend to not really rely on them too, too much. So definitely. Then another tip that you can learn is, um, I've been around a lot of blind or sighted people and they tend to, when the lights go out, they want to panic. Oh my God, where is this? Where is that? With, with us, or some totally blind people, um, they, I don't know if they still do, but I don't. It don't bother me. I'm able to maneuver. You know, I ain't, I ain't worried about the lights. I don't see light. I'm able to, cre by creating this mental picture, I'm able to move around and, and do the things that, as if the lights were on. So, um, and one particular thing is like, if you're in the dark and you, um, uh, want to go get a glass of water you know you know we don't have to turn on at least I don't have to turn on the lights to just to, to go to the kitchen I just get up and do my thing and that's what sighted people cannot do so y'all can definitely try to use that for uh, for a, a measure of time whenever the lights go out or even if it's in dark you don't always have to turn the lights on do you I don't know and the last one is <clears throat> be more organized and oh yes, I've been a lot around a lot, a lot of uh, visually impaired people. Been to their houses and they are not organized. Books over here, clothes over here. I can say they, you know, I don't know if they nasty, but that's just how they. Some sighted people are. As 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 for blind people, our mess to you or our organ uh, is 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 uh, maybe organization to us and. By that I mean we could we could put our things in certain orders where you may seem like may look at it as being junky, but we know where things are because of that mental picture that I've always talked about. We putting things in a certain area where it is. We don't have to dig through it. We know where where our, our uh, you know, just whatever dishes, whatever we we put up uh, clothes, food. We know that we put it in there, and we cannot stand for sighted people coming and mess up our uh, organization. So. We become more organized. So definitely those are tips that you can definitely try to use, try to take it and understand. And I'm hope hopefully I've, I've been able to point out these tips with to these sighted people or to you sighted people that you can actually learn and uh, actually know exactly how we're able to uh, uh, maneuver in quote unquote a sighted world. So just to be brief, um, some of the tips are you can learn to uh, appreciate people from within, avoid being prejudiced, uh, focus more so more so on your surroundings. Um, <clears throat> you don't panic when the lights turn are turned off. You can use, utilize your other senses more so and just be more organized. So I hope you've uh, gotten a little information from this particular video. And um, if you have any questions, any comments, please put them in uh, the comments below. So with that being said, my name is Anthony with Third Eye Visions, and remember, motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind, and I am out.